Lunch bunch, lunch bunch, lunch bunch, lunch bunch. I didn't film anything at lunch bunch. That is lunch bunch. Also, Austin, lunch bunch. Austin is getting into his car, but we're also going to go play Smash for just a little bit because we haven't done that in a while. Everybody but Roland, so say goodbye to Roland. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. Late Charizard in the middle. Oh, no. Oh. Here, here comes the octopus boy. <laughs> Not octopus boy. Oh, it. <laughs> we killed a box! We did it! <laughs> Owned that box! <laughs> Smash was fun. Austin and Dan hung out for just a small amount of time, maybe like an hour. Um, and we played uh, Smash for a little bit. And uh, that was good. That was like the, the a good amount of time for us to like do a thing with friends and not have it be like an entire day or an entire evening. We could all just play Smash and it was like, cool, that's awesome. And they don't live far away so they could they could head back and we could get back to work, so that worked out really well. Um, now it's dinner time, and um, we uh, we made tacos the other day, and we're just continuing to eat on these tacos. Um, I think, I don't know if this is going to be relevant to any of you, but it might. Um, I generally buy the Mission brand um, tortillas, flour tortillas. And this time I went with La Banderita, and I think I like them better. I mean, I, I really like the corn ones, but corn doesn't get along well with my stomach. But uh, as far as flour goes, these are really good. I might try another brand at another point, but for right now, those are those are nice. Anyway, once I finish this, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's happening in my life. So you'll have to forgive me if any of the information I'm about to talk about has been said in the past few days on the vlog. Truth be told, I'm not feeling super well, and um, I'm not thinking super straight either, so my apologies if I've already said this in some way. Um, so I haven't felt well because of the whole dizziness thing. I have it, an ear infection, something stemming from an ear infection, and um, I had went to a general care provider uh, who gave me antibiotics. I've been on antibiotics now for like four days. They haven't done anything. Um, like, it doesn't burn as much, but the dizziness hasn't gone away, which is, you know, concerning. So today, I called the, um, the hub, because you can't just call the doctor's office. It's a hub that controls all the doctor's offices. I called the hub, and uh, I told them that yesterday I called, and no one called me. Because that was my issue yesterday, is no one called. And I said, you know, that no one called me. Um, I called, you know, pretty early, so I could try and get a response yesterday, um, and I didn't get one. I'm just hoping that I can get this message passed along. So the lady checks the computer and she said, oh, you have a referral to an ENT. And I was like, that's cool. They didn't tell me, <laughs> which is kind of an important part. And she said, yeah, they have you um, as a referral to this one place. And I was like, well, that's weird because I've been to the ENT before. I've been to this other ENT. And I was like, why wouldn't they just put me there? So she, you know, clicks some buttons, searches her records, says, we don't have any indication of you ever going to an ENT. And I'm like, well, that's crazy. I went two years ago when I was having several ear infections, and I went several times that year in the span of a few months. And she goes, yeah, there's no record of that. And I'm like, well, if it's possible, if you could refer me over to that one, they, I'm sure, have my records. They'll be able to, you know, to do that. And uh, she said, yeah, that won't be any problem. So even though they had referred me to this one place without telling me, um, they took me out of there and called the other place. And then it was a few hours later, I got a call from that place. And they said, all right, yeah, um, we can we can actually see you tomorrow. You know, is is 8 o'clock good? And I'm thinking, that's right before breakfast stream, so that's, that's not ideal. They said, how about 9? And I was like, okay, that's during breakfast stream. And I was like, do you have anything else that day? They said, well, we have something at 1045. And I said... Perfect. Because I, I got to wake up in the morning and see my grandkids. <laughs> so that's the plan for tomorrow, is um, 1045. I have an appointment with an ENT who's going to be obviously more specialized and be able to tell me hopefully a little more about what the heck is going on. Actually, the exact same ENT that looked at me uh, two years ago. Uh, same doctor. So hope maybe there's a pattern. I don't know. But um, regardless, hopefully I'll be able to get some you know, relief. Now, here's the thing that feeds into it and, and why I haven't felt so great. Um, I have been not getting enough sleep. And the reason is I'm going to bed on time, but I'm, I, I'll wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, which is not, 
you know, super uncommon for me. Like, I'll, that happens usually a few times a week. I have to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Um, the difference is normally I can go back to sleep with no problems. But in the last week or so, I think maybe since this whole thing with the dizziness started, I can't fall back asleep. Because I get up and I go to the bathroom, and you know that the idea of like getting up out of the bed and, and moving my head causes all that weirdness, that dizziness. Um, between that, getting up and going to the bathroom, and then coming back and laying back down, I think it just jostles everything, and I, I can't get back to sleep. So there's been a few times already in the last week or so where I've woken up to pee, I come back to bed, and I'll lay there, and I'm just I'm trying so desperately to fall back asleep, and I just can't. And uh, it happened this morning, um, because I woke up this morning at 4.30 a.m. And I was like, this is not good. This is really bad. I went to the bathroom, and I laid in bed for a while. And, um, you know, after, like, maybe 30, 45 minutes of just laying there, I was like, um, this isn't going to happen. So I got up and started my day. And fortunately, I went to bed fairly early last night, but it still was not anywhere near enough rest, especially with the fact that it's been compounding. So, um, yeah, this continues to be like a giant medical mystery to me. I assume it is still related to my ear. It's just frustrating. And it's, it's having, I think, it's related, you know, having these other side effects where, like, I'm not getting enough sleep and I'm just, like, exhausted. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to bed super early tonight. It's 8 o'clock and I'm going to bed. <laughs> Um, Mal's actually going to stay up and work on some stuff because she's got things to do. But I told her, I said, I, I'm, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm going to take a melatonin and I'm just going to try and sleep for like 12 hours. Catch up on sleep um, and, and hopefully, you know, tomorrow get some answers because it's been, uh, you know, it's not, not the greatest few days, <laughs> admittedly. Um, but no matter how I'm feeling, I'm still gonna eat a Kit Kat, so let's eat a Kit Kat. Well, Mal? Yeah? What's next? Raw. <laughs> what the, what the piss? That's not a flavor. That's that one's flavor. That's a. My guess is it's very dark chocolate. Like a raw cocoa bean kind of thing. Could it be better than bitter? We'll find out. Yeah, we will. And this one's, uh,. Normal again. It smells dark it smells, chocolate. Smells like very dark chocolate. So it's probably darker than bitter. But maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? Hmm. I retract my earlier theory that bitter was 81. This is 81. Probably. Like, this is 81, and the other one was like... 75? I don't know, 60 or something, whatever. Percentages are hard and stupid. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just know that this one was... Dark chocolate. Yeah. More bitter than bitter, I think. We don't have... Because it's been so yeah, long. Yeah, it's been a few days, yeah. so now I'm like, I don't know, maybe it wasn't. Anyway. It was good. It was good. Also, I'm squatting down. Can people tell? I'm much taller than Mallory. Much, much, much taller. Anyway, um, <laughs> you're just- I'm not you're just, even all that short. You're just a little, the adults are talking. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, fingers crossed for tomorrow because God knows I need um, some answers. Like, I don't care if I'm better tomorrow, whatever. I just want someone to look in there and be like, yeah, this is bad. Your your antibiotics not working. Whatever it is, they're going to be able to say, "I understand the problem. Here's the solution." We'll see. Regardless, wish me luck in getting a crap load of sleep. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?